All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to very quickly make this impact driver. This, this is model number 2853-20. I'm gonna show you how to put the half inch anvil on there and what you need to do to, to get that done. I think it's so much for Torque Test Channel for doing a video on this, a, a video did well. And so, and also belts and boxes for actually uh, showing this, showing both of our videos. And so, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick on how to do this. And what I did right here was a mistake. And so, yeah, so uh, I'll go through step by step on how to actually do this. Alrighty, so let's connect this to that. Lock that in place. We'll put this on clutch number six, speed one. It's on screw. All right, so let's take these out. All right, so the long one goes in the front, so put that off to the side. Actually, let's take that clip off. It is easier to take that off. This now that goes off like that, so keep those, uh, keep the two base ones separate. Alrighty, so put keep those ones separate. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws. Eleven screws holding this together. All right, so now you can take the back out because you do not need that in there. Then the clamshell just comes apart. As you see, that's what the that's what the motor looks like. The motor on this is actually really small. Like that's it. That's the motor. I, that is seriously the, the motor right there. That's powerful for the size of that motor. All right, so then that just comes out like that because what this goes inside, the, the motor rotates this. Then that rotates the gears inside the housing. All right, so to get that plastic thing, uh, uh, the plastic piece off easily, just do that and that comes off immediately. Now we've got to make sure we put this on correctly. And then this is all it is uh, when it comes to the motor. That's crazy small, which is awesome. And so then you take this out, then this is now empty, and then this is the anvil. Now, uh, it is unfortunate that when it comes to uh, torque test channel and belts and boxes, they got the info wrong, uh, because I did do an update on this uh, after I did the live stream of actually making this. Now this is not the M18 stubby anvil. This actual anvil comes from the M12 stubby. A lot less wobble in there, so the M12 stubby anvil fits in there a lot better. It just fits on that shaft a lot better and there's a lot less wobble. So I do not know what the model number for this is, but this came from the M12 stubby. The M12 half inch stubby. All right, so the last thing you need to do is because originally this hole, uh, this hole right here is smaller. All right, so you need to cut that hole 20, sorry, 16.6 uh, .6 millimeters or 0.65 uh, inches. All right, so that's the, that's the approximate diameter that the hole needs to be. And so you just got to uh, make sure you just got to see what drill bit actually uh, fits in there. You know, I also use a little Dremel to take care of a, of a few spot if a little section here or two was a bit too tight. So I just use a Dremel and shaved it down. And then then yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I decided to do this because it was just an experiment and I was hoping that it would actually do some uh, major improvement on the actual tool because there isn't an extension that you need to run with this to be able to use it, that it's direct power to the anvil. And so uh, the test results were interesting uh, on multiple uh, channels because I did send this out to uh, Torque Test Channel and I'm actually amazed of the results. All right, so let's assume that you just cut this the way that you, that you would because like I said, you need to cut this to uh, 
0.65 inches. And the reason why you need to cut it 0.65 inches because there is an o there is a a ring right there that you needs to be sort of tight around this wall to prevent the grease from escaping. And just like so you guys know, once you do this, you cannot use this for an impact driver anymore. You have to use this anvil because if this is no longer sealed uh, for the regular quarter inch hex anvil. So because there will be more spacing around it, so grease will escape from your tool. So once you do this, this is a designated tool to this anvil now. All right, so let's drop that back in. And make sure, make sure you add a little bit extra grease in there. Put that in like that. Now this is spaced. These uh, keys, these teeth are spaced. There we go. Put the, make sure like rotate the gear so it's flush like that now. Then you got to put this back on. Now if this does go on a certain way, make sure that the, this little angle right here, there's a, there's a little slant right here that goes to, towards right here because that's the space for a screw, I believe. Now this is supposed to get uh, be uh, flush, 100% flush with it when it comes to the, uh, this, uh, this surface. So just grab something light and tap it back in. There we go. That is, that's back together. Now do a little test, do a little test, put this in, then rotate this and then that should rotate with it. Just do a little test, make sure you do it correctly, which we did. All right, so let's put this back in. Now the screw right here goes on the bottom. Put that in like that. Now it is easier to make sure you don't take out the electronics because like it, you, the electronics fit back in perfectly, but it's just easier to make sure you don't take the electronics out. There, yep, see, that's all it was, and now it immediately back went back in. So that little that little white plastic thing needs to be aligned better. So that went right back in. And make sure that that rotates by itself. Yep. All right, so put this in. There we go, just a little rotation. And that goes back in. All the seams are good. So let's put the back pieces on first. All right, let's put the battery in. And there you go. Now the last thing I got to do is just uh, with a regular, well, just a wet rag with no solution, wipe the tool down. So that's pretty much it you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.